The interview given by George Gao, the professor, Chinese professor on the BBC, is simply um, jaw-dropping. He says, uh, when, when asked about the origins of the COVID virus and, and given the background um, uh, of this where China has always denied that it could ever have come from the Wuhan laboratories, says, um, you can always suspect anything. That's science. Don't rule out anything. It's not a denial. Now, you could say, well, of course, uh, he's just being scientifically careful, but he's also been fielded um, as a spokesperson. And uh, suddenly, suddenly, this idea that the um, that the virus could have come out of um, a laboratory rather than being um, something that emerged by accident from the seafood market in Wuhan. Uh, it's some. Um, it's extraordinary. The most likely origin. The most likely origin. This is uh, this is something that surfaced in February. Uh, was that it could have come from the Wuhan laboratory, and. Uh, this, this came from uh, Wang Linfa, who was visiting the Wu Wuhan Institute um, uh, as an honorary professor in 2020 in January, told the BBC uh, that he believed the evidence overwhelmingly uh, suggests the virus passed to humans in a Wuhan market. But, mm. but it could easily, it could easily have come from elsewhere. Uh, Ian Lipkin uh, in uh, Columbia University, was one of the authors uh, of the um, a, a paper saying the proximal origin of SARS-CoV-2. Uh, he believes the market origin is the most plausible. Uh, he doesn't feel all laboratory or research scenarios can be excluded, however. He points to the Wuhan Center for Disease Control located just a few hundred meters away from the Huanan Seafood Market which was known to be involved in the collection of blood and fecal matter from bats. The people who worked there could have become infected while they're in a cave collecting bats. It's so easy for cross-contamination, for accidents to have occurred, um, even in the careful conditions of a laboratory. The, I, I, I think, um, you know, when you come down to it, you have to look at, um, at, at the evidence and apply... Occam's razor, what is the simplest solution? Why complicate um, a scenario when actually there is a simple solution screaming out to be considered? And now, finally, it's not being dismissed by a Chinese professor. Finally, this is something that China is prepared to concede is a possibility it's not saying it's a fact, but it's a real possibility. I am inclined to think it's a probability, but that's me. I'm not a scientist. I just think things are too close to be coincidental. And I can understand why there was an effort to cover things up, because in the end, there's also uh, issues of responsibility. There's issues of... Um, well, that could even be financial responsibility. I think from that point of view, we probably never never will learn the absolute truth. But I think it's um, the hypothesis uh, that it could be um, something that has leaked from a laboratory. Very, 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 very possible.